Hi, this is Kyle Swicegood inviting you to tkyleswicegood.blogspot.com and I'm here with Dr. Gary Chapman and we're about to wrap up our, our pilgrimage to uh, Jerusalem in the Israel area and we're actually here at the Pool of Siloam. Dr. Chapman, what is the main message that we find in the New Testament about the Pool of Siloam? Well, this was the pool where the man who was born blind was healed by Jesus. Jesus spit on the ground, put clay on his eyes, told him to go to the pool of Siloam and dip and he would be cleansed. And he came back seeing. And uh, everybody said, who did this? And he said, it's a man named Jesus. He didn't know he was the son of God at that point. He just said, he's a man named Jesus. They said, well, he could not be of God because he did this on the Sabbath day. <laughs> he's breaking the law. Of course, Jesus is above the law. He created the law. And uh, they asked his parents, and his parents said, well, he's our son. We know he was born blind. How he's seeing, we don't know. You'll have to ask him. So he told them again. Later on, they actually kicked him out and said, you know, this man's a sinner. You, don't, you, you can believe in him if you wish. We believe in Moses. But later he encountered Jesus, and Jesus asked him, do you believe in the Son of God? And he said, who is he that I might believe? And Jesus said, the one who's talking to you is the Son of God. And he said, I believe, and he worshiped him. But when we encounter Jesus, many people encounter Jesus today who don't know the full story about Jesus. They just know they've heard something, he's done something in their lives. But when they realize that he is the Son of God, they come to place their faith in him. And that's how we enter into the family of God. It's a personal response to Jesus Christ as Son of God. This is Kyle Swainskill with Dr. Gary Chapman. Thanks for watching.